Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I'm your host, the Game Changer, Wes Troop, and it's time to go back to the theater. And we're about to find out if I'm entertained. My review of the 2024 epic action sequel, Gladiator 2, coming up next. After his home is conquered by the tyrannical emperors who now lead Rome, Lucius is forced to enter the Colosseum and must look to his past to find strength to return the glory of Rome to its people. So what did I think of Gladiator 2? I thought it's a disappointing and forgettable epic historical action sequel. It's directed by Ridley Scott, who's also known for directing films such as Alien, Blade Runner, Selma and Louise, American Gangster, also with Denzel Washington, Body of Lies, The Martian, and of course, Gladiator. Unfortunately for me, his last few movies, such as House of Gucci and Napoleon, have been a bit rough, and this falls right in line with those. This sequel is 20 plus years in the making, and this is what we got. I honestly would have preferred to have seen the crazy sequel written by Nick Cave that never came to be, as at least it would have taken chances. The highlights of the film are obviously the action sequences. There's an exciting opening battle, and of course the gladiatorial battles and hand-to-hand -hand combat can be thrilling. There's also a lot of animals used in these battles, from a rhino to terrible-looking CGI baboons, and even sharks. This is a film that can really go off the rails at times. The story is cliche and predictable, and can feel like a rehash of the original film. It's almost like a bar cover band singing an artist's greatest hits album. There's also quite a few flashbacks to the original film, which made me just wish I was watching that film instead of this one. There are also a lot of power plays going on between the characters, probably a few more than needed. I actually was surprised at how bored I became throughout the runtime. It sets up a number of emotional moments that ring hollow as well. The first film has quite a few lines that have become quotable, but here there's no memorable lines, the big speeches from Lucius are uninspiring, and the dialogue is rather terrible overall. Lucius is a rather flat character and isn't exactly thrilling to root for, so there's really no one to get behind throughout the film in general. Denzel Washington is doing his thing, even if it feels like he's in a different movie than the rest of the cast, but his performance is easily the best, so at least there's that. The villains who are co-emperors of Rome can be overly annoying and look like if the Weasley twins were crossed with Beavis and Butthead. The film's runtime of 2 hours and 28 minutes drags and could have easily been shorter. The score is quite a letdown as well, and is nowhere near as moving as the first films, which we hear callbacks to. Paul Mascal stars as Lucius Verus Aurelius, who's going by the alias of Hanno, the grandson of Marcus Aurelius and son of Maximus, who through antics has been sold into slavery to become a gladiator, Pedro Pascal as General Acacius, the Roman general who trained under Maximus and is Lucilla's husband, who spends most of his time away on military campaigns for the emperors, Connie Nielsen as Lucilla, Lucius's mother who's feared and exploited by those in power, Denzel Washington as Macrinus, the former slave who plans to control Rome and mentors Lucius, and Joseph Quinn and Fred Heckinger as Emperors Gita and Caracalla, the idiotic emperors of Rome. Gladiator 2 is an unnecessary sequel that is a big step down from its best picture winning predecessor that feels more like Diet Gladiator or more like Gladiator Clear. Number wise, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10, which gives it the A list rating of meh. You know, it's okay. All right, well, that's the show. 
I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Instagram and letterboxed at West A List. Until next time, Troop out.